Vision talk, man. Who the fuck we got in the building today? Second trip, baby. For sure, man. I had to get it right for him, you know what I'm saying? For the people first time tapping and let them know where you from and all that. Second out, East Atlanta. Tight shit, okay. What was it like growing up out there? Yeah, sad thing. Everything that go on in the dog hood, yeah. Type shit. Yeah. And you uh you grew up with both your parents? No. Just, just your mom type shit? Yeah, yeah, just my mom. Uh, you got siblings? Yeah. So what was it like, Jack, growing? What, what, uh, like, where you fall in line with all your siblings? Like, how? shit. Uh, this down there, shit. No, no, I'm saying like, who the like you the oldest? Is the yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the middle. I'm the third. Oh, you the third type yeah. shit. Okay, so what was it like, Jack, growing up out there? You know what I'm saying, single mom type shit, Jack. It's like. That's back in that back in the oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta go get somebody, you gotta go do something with your mama by herself. Yes, man, I, I knew when I, I, I found that out when I was like 11 to a 10, though. Yeah. Shit. I started having to get me some money around that age. So, yeah, shit, what, what was it like around like 11 to 10 years old that, that you seen or that you were just like, nah, I need to? Lights being out, coming home from school, no food. You know what I'm saying? Having to sleep at my my grandma's spot, a lot of shit, bro. I I knew it when my, when I started seeing my mama like crying and shit, but not having like or being where she wanna be. Feel me? Yeah, yeah. that what made me know like shit. I had to get some some kind of money. Feel me? Type shit. So you just start being outside with it. Type shit. So so you just start being outside with it for real. Yeah, at ten I was ten. I go to Elect when I was like nine, eight. But, yeah, yeah, when I was 10, I started smoking. <laughs> I was tripping, bro. How the hell you got there and start smoking at 10? How you get into that? Oh, I'd rather not even say. There you go, Cal. Tell you shit, nah, that's what's up. So, like, you outside and shit, like, what type of kid was you in school and shit? Fucked up. <laughs> Until I got in middle school, when I got in fifth grade, I started tripping. What? Dude, that's early. As I, think it's early. I started tripping, bro. Like I got spit it like twelve times in fifth grade. I remember I used to come back from school and get suspended the same day from when I got back from suspension. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You gotta tell that story. How the fuck you get suspended twelve times, bro? I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing. It was just fights and shit, or? bro. It if someone would fight. Shit, I don't know, bro. I was just tripping. I ain't gonna care. What's the craziest story you got from like that time? Like some of the wild shit you done did in school? Talking about from fifth grade or just through like just through school, school. bro. Like just crazy shit, bro. Like just wild, like bro. <laughs> like anything you can think of, bro. Like pulling up to the school, not supposed to be at school, sneaking out of school. Feel me, like, bro, I can't even just put my finger on it, though. Feel me? But I remember I took a nigga phone, ran home with it. I was in sixth grade. I took that shit, ran home, put it under the bed, police came. <laughs> that bitch started going off when they was in the house. I like, bro, that ain't his phone. Oh, <laughs> it was your mom there when this going on? Yes. What she said? She was mad as fuck. I don't know <laughs> what I was doing. <laughs> and it was an Android. Yeah, this is Motorola. What, they track that motherfucker? Yes. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's crazy. So, did you uh, end up graduating? Yeah, no. Did you drop out? Graduate. I would say grad I dropped that. I just, yeah, I dropped that because if you start going to school, you drop that. I yeah. stopped going to that shit. Because I went to alternative school. I knew it was over with me <laughs> when I when it was when it was uh, George Milestone. I, I bro, it was like I was not going to school. I was like, bro, I gotta take this test, but I still didn't go to school. Yeah. I said, fuck this shit, bro. And what like around what grade was this? Tenth type shit. Yeah. And so then you drop out, and what you what you doing now? Like you just music, bro. Well, I had. When I dropped that, like when I stopped going to school, like that shit came with a lot of bullshit though. I want to say nigga one don't need school, but you need it coming up so you can stay out of trouble though. I think that's what school meant for. 
But you, I don't think you need school that life. I think it's just for a kid to go so he won't be in the street. Yeah. Tight shit. Oh God. So yeah. basically, you saying like you just started to just get into some bullshit. I ain't even getting the bullshit. I just went not going to school. I was just on some money. Tell you, oh, you just got some money. But I shit. felt like two, three hundred dollars and shit was it. But that shit wasn't nothing. But ninth and tenth grade, like twenty eighteen and shit for a young nigga, bro. He got him a three five. He good going to the house with two hundred dollars in your pocket. You scrape. Yeah. But I wasn't even thirteen yet. I was like, I was thirteen, fourteen, getting that kind of money. But when I was like eleven and shit, feel me, I, I still was on the same thing. Feel me, I knew I was probably gonna finish school. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap. Tell you shit. So did you have like, like what they call them, like big homies or just OGs or anything that was just putting you on the shit? Or you. F- figuring all this shit out yourself? All myself. Everything. By my damn self. Ain't nobody to show me shit. My, nobody showed it. But really, I just feel me. I bros, we ain't had nobody like. Feel me? Yeah. Nobody. We, 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 we us, bro. Like, feel me? Niggas say he, he, he taught us he broke. I'm so ass broke. It's count. It's count. God. We made this name for ourselves all my life. Tell you shit, what would you say is like one of the biggest lessons you learned just going through all that shit yourself? What, like what, going through what? Like just shit, the, the streets shit. and you know what I'm saying, all that shit, just getting money for real. Man, watch who the fuck you get, but watch who you got down to throw up with, feel me? Niggas, 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 I know a lot of niggas, feel me? Everybody that gonna be that there, feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Stay out of the way, feel me? And once you really, if you really get money and you, and you got motion, you need to stay out of the way and make it back home, feel me? Tell you shit, okay, so you said so when you got out of school, that's when you started getting into music. Was you already into music before you got out or that's like, that's what made you get into it? I was already on music. I straight up got put out of school one time. And then, bro, I had got seen on the, at the stove. I was like 14, I was at the stove. Put, I got put out of school. The teacher, Mr. Kitchen, or uh, Mr. Robinson, rolled past that shit. The stove. I was up there with the junkies. I swear, <laughs> chilling. Feel me? Yeah. Before all that shit was cool though. Feel me? But then when we, then when they pulled up, they pulled in the school. They looked at me and they were like, "What the fuck you doing up here?" Like, they like, "Bro, I'm finna tell them put you back in school." And then. When I went back to school, he was like, bro, I ain't even gonna grade y'all for work. I'm gonna grade y'all for music. I used to go, I used to get a laptop and then record on this shit called Soundtrap. I go in the hallway, me and my little partner, then and I lock in and I record. So the teacher, shit. like, what he knew you did music? Yeah, yeah. I, I, already, I told my teacher, like, I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be lit. I'm gonna be lit at fuck one day. I had a teacher, Miss, Miss um, Pierce, not Miss Pierce. Oh, I forgot that girl name, but but I used to get all her books, and then I put them up to my ear. Not Miss Pearson. I forgot her name. <laughs> Damn me. She shit. know who she is. She used to let me got down flex the book. Cause I used to always, bro. I didn't used to give a fuck at school. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. It was time to do work. I was on YouTube watching nigga got down. Do that video. shit. Pop yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. Uh, I want to stand on fucking school. Right. I ain't gonna lie though. Shout out to that teacher. That's hard that he got down and said he gonna grade you off music. I, mean, yeah. I wish I had a teacher tell me some yeah. shit like right. that. Facts. <laughs> My mama, I, everybody know I ain't capping too. Yeah. No cap. So you, so you're really just going the hallway and make some songs and shit. And then, huh? So you're really just going the hallway and make some songs and shit mm-hmm. here. Listen to him. Nah, man, that's how I started. Started my SoundCloud. Was he fucking with the songs? That's how he graded them. He had me play them for the class. Man, tell you shit. So then you just so if, people if, start if, fucking if, with If somebody see this, in, like that, I got fuck this was, that was in that class that no, I ain't Kevin. Like no, that's hard. No cap. I told my like, bro, my life gonna be strictly music. I don't give no fuck. That's what I wanna do. I ain't gonna cap. Yeah. I don't wanna do shit, bro. I wanna be a rapper. Like, and I can't put that shit away. Tell you shit. What was like the your first like? I guess you say big song, like the first song that everybody in the school was fucking with or everybody was just... I, I can't even say because, bro, I got shit everybody like, and I got shit with more views on SoundCloud than YouTube, so I can't even say, bro, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
ain't no telling, but I know for a fact I had this shit ski mask. That bit really was jumping like folk were dying for me to drop that shit, and I'm finna shoot that shit this yeah. week. Yeah. So like coming up, like, cause you said you was always into music and shit. Like, who was your influences and shit? Like, who was you watching on YouTube and shit like that? Like, like I would watch Marley Quill, bro. When nigga got signed, when that fuck got signed, bro. I'm like, bro, I just why I was walking the spot with my before, like, I seen him, dug him, come to the, I swear, I don't just like. But that shit can really happen. Like a nigga can really go from nothing to be some. I knew my whole before. The, I ain't gonna say I knew him, but I've been saying, bro, like on on camera, feel me? Yeah. I've been on like, feel me? That who really made me know? I know and Cho, feel me? I knew, feel me? I, I was on them before anything. So when I seen them make it happen, I knew like, bro, that shit real. I know I'm finna be up there. Like I know I'm a pop on God. Tell you shit. Nah, speaking on that though, like with, with your and shit, like speak on your relationship with him, like how y'all meet and all that, you know, how did all that come together? I, shit, we was in apartments in East Lake, and then Eli, feel me, he check, I met Chum through Eli, I was 11, I was serving weed, he pulled up to, this, <laughs> he pulled up to my door, Eli was finna come shop with me, he bought a $20 worth of weed from me. I think I gave him like a one eight here like this and two ground. It was like one eight here like shit fuck it, you can have it, feel me. Cho right there. And then he started coming to the hood ever since then. Feel me? And we were just thugging, 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 thugging. Like I've been knowing him bro for a, for a little minute, seven years now. Type shit. Feel me? What was it like for watching six. him like pop off and shit? Like basically in front of your eyes, type shit. That that's that's the main the main reason I know this shit gonna happen. Shit, I bro like bro that shit be crazy cause like bro I really know and I seen it like I seen it all the way everything. Yeah. From 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 sleeping in the studio, feel me? Sleeping in the car, nowhere to go late night. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen it all. Yeah. Oh God, I seen the first case when we got locked up. Feel me? I seen it, bro. What was the moment like you was like, oh, this shit is lit? Like, cause you know when you when you around a nigga all the time, it's like hard to tell cause you with him all the time. But what was the moment you was like, oh shit, like this shit really up? Shit, just just bro, like, the big shit like tour. Yeah. I seen like. Bro, can't get like, bro, like I won't even say that shit, cause it was bigger shit that happened before that. But nigga, he be getting messages from a lot of rappers that you, he probably don't even got a song with. Feel me? Big rappers too, though. So I just be like, bro, shot it really out of there. He gone. Yeah. Feel me? Like he just got a lot. He, got, he, he just ain't all the way down, but he there. You know what I'm saying? Nah, God. Nah, that shit. So, what was uh one of the first songs you ended up putting out? Out. Yeah, like, like, as like, I guess, in like, now that you older type shit, like, on some shit, taking rap serious. When Cho got that first video shot for me, I smoking thought I had, uh, I had put that out. He dropped that shit for me on his page, and he paid for the video and shit. Shit, that was my first really like real song I put out. But I've been dropping shit with my partner, departments in Lozano. I've been dropping shit with them. And, and, and I knew I was gonna rock for since then, cause we had dropped a little song in school that bit called Hard, and that bit went up like folk liking the fuck out of that song. And I had dropped a little diss, I, cause I had gotten to it with the nigga at school, and, and he was like a little bitch ass nigga, bro. Like I already knew who he was. We went to Matt there with each other. Feel me? He wasn't up for real long shit, but so he came to my school. And then like, I'm just telling him like, bro, you know who he is, bro. Why is you acting like this, bro? So we yeah. got into it and I met a little fake at this song. And then everybody heard it, bro. That shit was like, everybody liked that song. <laughs> I still got that motherfucker, that bitch. Folk loved, loved that song. That's crazy. So that when I knew I am finna rap on God. And then I, and then I, like, I be rapping bullshit. I would make a good song. Yeah. Nah, even speaking on that too, I was gonna say like, how would you describe your style? Cause like, 
the song I had heard the song Everybody Fed and the song Yeah Yeah and they like two different you see what I mean? genres I go yeah, both like, ways with it like one like pain that's song, gonna be one crazy like, cause bro I already knew when I have to switch up that flow you gonna have to switch it up somehow yeah. if a white nigga tell you oh bro like Justin Bieber bro like I already know if I be able to hop on the song with that nigga I'll kill that shit straight up I gotta go both ways with it I'm 18 bro so it's mm -hmm. gonna get harder and harder you know what I'm saying I already know this shit gonna goddamn elevate more, more and more. Like, I don't write shit. I never fucking wrote a song. So you should be coming up top. The only song I wrote was, like, I, was I was in juvenile, writing shit, never used them. I, I wrote the one song, Unspoken Thoughts, that I dropped on Choke, that Choke dropped for me. <coughs> that was the only song I wrote. Yeah. I never wrote shit up. I don't oh, write shit. I don't count. Wait, so hold on. You had did some juvenile time? Shit, like four, five and a half months. I might get some bullshit. What the hell you had to do that for? Some fake ass charge that I didn't do. When me, <laughs> it went, we didn't do shit. I didn't do shit. Type shit, no, that's yeah. not me for real. Like, what was I, that? It was a lesson, cause I, was, I told you I was out of school doing fuck shit. Bro, that was a lesson, like, you need to sit the fuck down. Like, you ain't even in school. Judge asking you in school, hell nah, bad reputation. Like, bro, what you on the street doing? That when I knew, like, nigga need to be in school. Yeah. That why I got locked up anyway. Shit, I got locked up during school hours, bro. So I supposed to be in school. Tell you, shit. That's why I say, bro, I know the school keep you out of trouble. Feel me? It do though. Nah, facts. What was like? Uh, did you see any crazy shit in, in there, or were you just chilling? I got to handle a couple times, some little fuck shit happened. I got popped off for a lot of shit, feel me? But I never got hit and didn't hit. And I done popped some shit off for too. Shit, that's just how it go. I had to adapt though, feel me? I, I don't want to say I was a tough nigga in it, but I had to adapt how to move, feel me? I was my own man. Yeah. Oh God, I wanted blood when I went in there. Nine, 2200. Yeah, everybody knew, I didn't know I knew how to rap too. That's another reason I knew I was going to rap. Everybody used to be telling me, hit that shit. You the nigga who I had got to him with, feel me? But when I had got out, feel me, niggas knew I wasn't like, feel me? Like, bro, I probably wasn't like the tough nigga, but I wasn't no ho. So, like, niggas who I would hit, like, him with, I already knew, like, feel me? Like, bro, probably going to be something. It ain't no reason for me that forever be got down trying to fight with him. Yeah. Feel me? Tell you shit. I had goddamn locked myself in from never turning down the fate. Feel me? That when everybody started fucking with my songs. Smooth. I tell you shit, now that's how it go. You got basically got to gain that respect from niggas. Oh you know what I'm saying? And um, what would you say like is probably like your personal favorite song out of all the shit you done dropped? Like if you had to send a new fan to your music, like what would you like to sound like? Check this out first. like. Bruh, I had a hard ass little shit coming out. I put it ways though, like, I, bro, I had made like a little smooth little EP on tour, bro. That bit was so hard, bro. Like, I had everybody listening to this shit. Probably done leak every last one of those songs. So, it would have been probably some shot, shit called Bad Honest and Huncho seeing what I seen. I put that shit hard as fuck. And I just dropped this song called Fagin. It was it's short, but I love I like that song too. Yeah. And, and then I got some shit. I do a lot of shit, a lot of unreleased shit that everybody was like, die, I know my tape gonna be crazy. Yeah. So with all this unreleased show, you say you about to drop a tape? Mm-hmm. What you uh calling it? Verify no ID. Verify. But where, where you get that title from? I ain't got no ID. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, everybody know me. Like, I ain't gonna say everybody, but shit. I, mean, I, feel, I Face ain't gonna be somebody gonna know me somewhere. Tell you shit. Okay. What you plan to like do with the project? You wanna shoot some videos and shit? Really like <laughs> push this I'm motherfucker? Right now. I'm dropping right now. I'm, I'm dropping back to back like right now. I'm trying to keep dropping, dropping, dropping. Like, Cause I already know shit, this shit gonna pop. Tell you shit. What would you say is like the hardest part about being an upcoming rapper? The hardest, like, what you mean, like, the fights or, like, like, like the toughest? Like, like, the toughest. Support from certain people. That shit be gay. 
a nigga be really want to know what the fuck is you hang for? Like, why the fuck you hang? Like, what you, like, you know what I'm saying? But when we trip, I know, like I say, this shit gonna pop. God, the nigga gonna follow my. Right. So, like, when it comes to support, do you, do you feel like, like, people, like, only fuck with you when they see you going up type shit? Yeah, bro. Hey, it show nigga shit. Hey, shit happen. Videos, I'm, I'm used to it. I ain't gonna say I'm used to it, but I don't feel like no video goddamn making nigga rap. Feel me? Hey, you you got them, you doing different shit, make nigga rap. Yeah. Right. <laughs> nah, you just saying like, nah, you saying it don't even be the, like, it don't even be like the videos and shit that they be seeing going up and shit, or like, oh, like you saying I you, you used to all of that shit. Shit, people who I would fuck with be dick ride though. People who don't see me try to go up, never fuck with me back then. They could be, they could be low key by, hey, go okay, care, but that just be like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. Don't Same care. shit. How you feel about like the Atlanta rap scene right now? Like, yeah, what you mean to my, who popping? Yeah, j- no, j- not who popping necessarily. J- just how it's going in general. Like, too much clout chasing, bro. I hate it, bro. Like, and then like the wrong niggas has to get in there, bro. Like for real, wrong niggas. Like, and then niggas be doing like wrong shit too. <laughs> God, like, I don't feel like, like, I don't care, bro, like, and, and like, the industry, bro, I already know how, like, niggas is, bro, like, so, I don't even try to get into it, I don't be really into what's going on with these niggas, yeah. their career, I be worried about what that got going on, feel me, I'm just trying to follow line and do the right shit, type shit. Do you got, um, like, management, or you, like, you with a label or anything like that? Bad talk, Ralph. He bad as me. He my manager. Okay, that's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Do you you looking to get signed or you want to be independent or like? I'm trying to have they have they uh, begging for me. I'm trying to have them niggas begging for me. Like, I ain't trying to be rich or not. Feel me? I need them on my ass. I'm trying to see what it's going to take for them to get me. Yeah. So shit. shit. How you like? How would you say, like, you try to separate yourself from, like, because you know nowadays, it's like, everybody rap type shit. So it's like, how you how you separate yourself from the crowd? Do it by old shit. Not being any niggas, like, try to do features with everybody. I try to do shit with that niggas who niggas sleeping on, who I know still bust the roof on your ass out of nowhere. Type shit. I ain't trying to be on there about a dick. So what is some artists that you do fuck with, like that you got songs with and shit? Infamous. I have some shit with Infamous. I have a song with Private. Nobody but heard it. Then I got shit with it. Uh, I got some shit from the, I'm finna do a quiz. I sent him an open on when on him sending that shit back. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably like a lot of niggas, bro. I don't even be caring for that shit, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's just niggas who I got shit with Merc. Wire and Merc. Him. Who else? Man, I can't even remember, bro. But I know I got more, more shit than that, though. Type shit, man. That's, that's what's up. It was definitely good to get your name out there, type shit, so y'all can swap fans and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got a, a date for the project yet? Nope. I'll just wait on that shit so I can get my, like, they want to drop a video that so they can be ready to hear some more shit. Type shit. But yeah, man, let the people know where they can follow you and all that. Let them know, you know what I'm saying, where they can find you, what you got coming. You know what I'm uh, Shout out all your people. You can find me at, on Instagram at Second Trip Baby everywhere. Uh, Apple Music everywhere. Second Trip Baby everywhere. Every platform on Second Trip Baby. For sure, man. You can give your boy a shout out, man. You got 250 Eli right here with me, man. Uh, he just tell the folk what's going on. Super 250 Eli. Bad George. They say about me, you know, they're about to die. Shout out to follow me on the ground, though. 250 SDLI. I got some shit coming to me. For sure, man. Second trench, baby. Vision talk. We out this motherfucker.
I swear. Really in a rush to make it. Have to take off, you gotta be patient. I just wanna know how they hate No I ain't got time for the faking. I just pray I make it home at night. I done did some shit throughout my life. Lord knows I know it won't right. And if I went out by that.